there my friends and Valentine's Day is coming and to be honest this Valentine's Day is very special for me because I can actually be with a person that I love and my message to all the lonely hearts out there it's not forever, I promise you. Since this is a special day, I decided to make some cute decorations for our house. And I'm not a big fan of all this bright red and pink colors. So I decided to make everything neutral and also to share everything with you, of course. So you could make all these items too, if you like them. Some of the ideas are just mine and some of ideas were inspired by Pinterest but I modified them anyway to make them more unique and I also added some of my tips because not everything from Pinterest goes smoothly if you know what I mean that's pretty much it let's get started the first thing we're going to make is a heart lantern we will need the bottle, acrylic paint, brush, heart sticker and ribbon. First take your bottle and decide where you want to place your heart. Then take the sticker and place it on the spot. After that take your acrylic paint and brush and start covering the bottle with the paint. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to cover the whole bottle because you will need to make several layers and wait till the paint dries between all of them. It took me several hours and three layers of paint to finish the whole bottle. Here it is, how it looks after covering it with paint. Then take the sticker off and clean the place where heart's supposed to be. Then put a ribbon on it to make it more beautiful. Then place lights inside of the bottle, just like that. I used my galaxy lights that I got on Christmas. I think they're perfect for this. And here it is. I cleaned the heart a little bit more to make it even. And I think it looks great. I really like it. The second thing is a little bit more difficult and it is heart-shaped jewelry tray. We will need air dry clay, rolling pin, hard cookie cutter and a bulb or any other rounded object. So we take our clay and before you put it on the table I highly recommend to put coated paper first Otherwise, clay will get stuck to the table and that's not fun at all. Then you roll your clay and make sure that it is even on the all sides. Then place a cookie cutter on the clay and you will get a hard shape. Put away all the extra clay. After your heart shape is ready, take your heart and place it on a bulb, but first put some oil on it, otherwise it will get stuck. So it will take a shape of a bowl. You can fix that. And after two days and some paint, it looks like this. You can decorate it any way you want. And I think it looks very nice. I love these rough edges and I already keep my jewelry in them. And the next thing is very easy. It is a frame with your names. You will need frame, old map, picture, scrabble tiles and super glue. 
So you just need to place all the scrabble tiles on the picture in a way you want. And I chose this picture because of a long distance relationship we had. I thought it was a really good idea because we were from two different worlds. I also love that our names have the same amount of points in Scrabble. But you can use any picture you want on the background and you can write whatever you want, your names or I love you or anything really. And after you glued everything to the picture, you just need to place it into the frame. I got my frame in a thrift store, so it's very cheap. I like this vintage style and I think it looks so cute. And the last thing is very fun and easy as well. It is pillow with a heart on it. You will need canvas pillow, thick ribbon and big needle. First you just draw a heart with a pencil and then you start embroider the heart with your ribbon. It will be easier if you take canvas pillow case instead of the pillow, but this is the only thing I had and I got this pillow in Target and also this ribbon is from there too, if you are curious. So you just keep embroidering hard and following your pencil lead. Meanwhile, you can always fix the ribbon if something gets stuck or if the length of the ribbon is not long enough. The good thing is you don't need to measure anything, you can just always fix it on the way to the end. And after embroidering is done, you just make a little band and that's it. And I think it looks very beautiful and expensive. I really love it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave like, write comments down below and click the subscribe button. I will see you very soon with my new video. Stay tuned. Thank you so very much for watching. I feel great after talking to you. Bye!